We've all been there. We've written code and it works and then, you know, great. Where do we put it? You know, it, it's not the hardest question that we have to answer. The hardest question is, what do we name it? The second hardest question is, where do we put it? And that's what I want to look at today. So I have some articles that I want to pass to my view, but I want something more than just, you know, getting a set of articles. I want to do something like this to where we will get the articles that have been published at greater than or equal to the last 30 days. So we will call now and then sub days 30. So that'll get the articles published within the last 30 days. But I also want to be sure that I'm working with just published articles. So where not null published at, but then I also want to sort these not by their date, but whether, you know, what are the, the more popular articles? What, what has the most views? So we are going to order by descending views, and then we will simply get those articles, pass those on to the view, so that, voila, we have our list of articles. And that's fine. I mean, this code works, and there's something to say about code that works. And I can't tell you how many times I have taken this approach. I'm, I'm done. I've written this controller method. It works. I'm done. I'm going to move on. You know, maybe I'm hurrying because I'm under a deadline to get something completed, or, you know, maybe I have great intentions. And I will say that I'll come back to this to extract that later. I always have good intentions. I hardly ever follow through with them. But there are reasons not to do this directly inside of the controller because, you know, maybe we want to display these recently published articles elsewhere, in which case we can't really replicate this unless if we just copy and paste it. You know, something else, this just, I don't want to necessarily say that it bloats our controller, but it certainly adds more lines of code to our controller and I like nice and lean controllers. So one thing we could do is just take this from the where clause to the order by descending. And we could go to our article model and we could just write a scope. We'll call it recently published so that we get our query there. And then we will simply return query. Then we will have the rest of our query. And yeah, that's gonna work exactly like it did here inside of a controller, except that now you know, it's going to look like this. We will get our articles and we will use our scope recently published and we will get those. It's going to give us the same result, but now we just have two lines of code and that's perfect for a variety of reasons. For one, it makes this much leaner to the point that, you know, we just have two lines of code. We can even make this leaner by inlining the retrieval of our articles and putting it whenever we return the view. I mean, we can make this as clean as possible and, you know, we're there. And plus, this is code that we can reuse so that if we want to get the recently published articles, all we have to do is call our recently published method and, you know, everything is going to work like it should. I mean, it's a win-win. But, you know, then we start getting into the realm of bloating our model, which, you know, I like to keep my models as lean as possible, kind of like my controllers. And, you know, we can make the argument that, okay, for right now, we just need the recently published articles. But, you know, maybe we might want to get the articles sorted by their views. You know, there, there's so many other ways that we can retrieve our articles to display them or provide them to the end user that it might not make sense to do that all inside of the model. Maybe we need to create, you know, a service that we would use to contain all of that functionality. And this is typically what I reach for, primarily for that particular reason. It gives me the ability to organize all of the ways that I would need to retrieve the articles or whatever model that I'm working with. So let's create this article service and we need our namespace of app services. Uh, we need to fix our little syntax error at the top there. 
but then we'll just have our class of article service. And then what? We will have our public function recently published. And then let's just grab the code that we have from our controller. And we'll put that inside of this method here. So that's all we will need to do is not assign that to a variable. We will just return here. We need a use statement for our article model and voila. So now we have this service class and it does require us extra work to create this class. However, it gives us the opportunity to contain all of the functionality that we need to you know, retrieve articles in whatever format or whatever order that we need them in. So that here we can get our article service. Let's just call it service. And then we will use our service to get our articles, which once again is going to give us the opportunity to have a nice and lean controller while also giving us the ability to reuse this functionality whenever we need. But to do a sanity check, let's make sure everything works. Looks like it does, so we're good to go. Now, I don't want to take this opportunity to tell you what you should do. I mean, because ultimately, it's up to you. As I have gotten older, as I have gotten more experience, I've found that what we are supposed to do or the correct way of doing things doesn't really exist. Yes, we can come up with reasons to take either one of these approaches. Putting it inside of the controller is fast and easy. And if you don't need to reuse that functionality, then, you know, who cares? But if you do need to reuse it, then there are other options to do that. It comes down to how you want that code to look, how you want to reuse that code if that's what you need to do. So where would you place this code?